Silicon Valley was once the largest fruit producing region in the world, and by the 1970s, it had become the hub for technology and innovation. What led to this rise of technology and the spread of personal computers? Join us as we hear from John Markoff, Distinguished Fellow at the Stanford Institute for Human-Centered Artificial Intelligence. I've covered Silicon Valley as a, a reporter both for the Times and then for the San Francisco Examiner and before that for some computer magazines going all the way back to Byte and InfoWorld. I'm something of a historian and I'm particularly interested in one question which is why did Silicon Valley happen here? I grew up in the 60s and I left and I went away for about a decade in college and graduate school and I came back and Silicon Valley was here and so I was wondering what happened while I was gone. And so I've been very attentive to some of the discussions around um, the forces that were at play that created Silicon Valley. I had been working on a biography of a man by the name of Stuart Brand um, for about five years, who's not on the face of it a technologist, but he was a journalist and an activist and other things right at the point that Silicon Valley was being created. He's significant in, in a number of ways. For example, he was the first journalist to use the phrase personal computing. He's come up again more recently in a lot of the debate about the impact of Silicon Valley. And so I wanted to write about that. Stuart Brand was very influenced, more influenced than I realized, uh, by a man by the name of Douglas Engelbart. And Engelbart is an extremely important figure in the modern computing industry. He, he really was a pioneer of interactive computing. Engelbart is working on digital computing that would become the universal tool. I mean, you know, that's the way we use everything around us that, that you're using is, a, you know, got a microprocessor inside it. Brand was one of the first people to get that. His publication, which was called The Whole Earth Catalog, is subtitled Access to Tools. It suggests a kind of um, technological optimism. Brand saw this stuff that was happening. Um, he was a messenger and he took this away and he put it into this um, catalog of tools. And computing was always something that the brand was interested in. It was a big part of the catalog right from the start. And it opened up the idea of computing to a, a population that would never have you know, had access to computing. I think what I discovered that might be a surprise to people is the relationship between this sort of so-called counterculture generation, my generation, that read the whole Earth Catalog and Silicon Valley. And I think they are very connected. And in fact, the whole Earth Catalog was really Silicon Valley's first product, which I don't think people will think of as, as any connection between the two. I can't tell you the number of people who would stumble across something in the catalog and their life would go in some different direction. The idea of uh, personal computing was in the air and that was what he brought to, to my generation. Learn more in Rethinking Silicon Valley, Stuart Brand's Lost Journal, a viewpoint in the November 2022 communications of the ACM.